Hi guys, this is Jessica and this is Sarah. We are going to do a video today. Today's video is going to be about starting week 10 in the Abeka three-year-old curriculum. So with it being Monday, I got my Monday folder out and I got everything inside that we're going to need to do. So let's get started. All right, Sarah, so we're going to start a new letter this week. We're going to start the letter F. Yay! And we're going to learn about Freddy Fish. Yay! Yes, we're going to learn about Freddy Fish. Yeah. So before we get started, can you take your finger and trace the capital F? Very good. Trace the lowercase f. I got right there. Well, I, you, you need to go by the directions. I didn't say that yet. Very good. Now, what sound does the letter F make? Very good. Now, here are some words that start with the letter F. So, can you tell me all these words and point to them Fox. in the picture? Fox, mm -hmm. flower, mm -hmm. tree, flag, mm -hmm. family. Very good. Except this one. It's not um, trees. It's forest. That's when you have a whole bunch of trees growing together. It's called a forest, all right? Now, if you were just talking about one, like that one right there, you would say tree. And if you were talking about a groups of, uh, of a tree, you would say trees. But in this case, it's called a forest. Can you say forest? Forest. Yes, I like forests. We like to go walking in forests, don't we? But in the woods. But there's animals in the forest. You're right. We're going to learn about that later on this week, okay? Alright, so you watch Freddy Fish as I talk about him, okay? Meet Freddy Fish. He is a kind of fish called a guppy. Freddy Fish lives in the aquarium. Aren't you glad God made so many different kinds of animals that some can be your special pet? Mm -hmm. Aren't you glad we have pets? Yeah. Maybe one day we can get a guppy. Wouldn't I'll, that be nice? I want a little dog that stays little oh. and a fish. Yeah, you're big on that dog, aren't you? All right, so we did Freddy Fish, and we <laughs> talked about Freddy Fish. Now we have to do our arts and crafts. This one's Freddy Fish Aquarium. You get to make your own Freddy Fish, okay? So we need orange construction paper, a black marker, Hi. some glue. You have all that in your, um, oh, we don't have aquarium stones. I think we might have something similar to that. All right, let me go get the construction Where, paper. Where's the fish? You gotta make it, see? Yes. You gotta make it. Make You're it. gonna make your own guppy. Oh, what is that treasure gonna do? It's gonna stay like that, I guess. Why is that treasure there? Sometimes they put tre um, a toy treasure box in aquariums to make it look like underwater. To make it look like the ocean floor. Because oh. there's a lot of treasure lost and hidden in the ocean. So that's why they have a treasure box there. How does it go find the treasure? Well, some people go around looking for the treasure. They have special equipment that they can find the treasure. And they get a special suit and they go down in the water and they get it. Alright, step one. We have to write your name on the back. We have to write your name on the back of the aquarium here. So get a pencil and write your name. Good job, Sarah. Yay! All right, turn the aquarium over. Now we have to trace your hand on the orange construction paper. We have to keep your little finger and your thumb away from your three middle fingers. And it's supposed to look just like that. All right, lay your hand down. All right, these together, these out. Okay. All right. Oh, a fish. A fish now. All right, step three, we have to cut out the fish. Can you get your scissors and cut it out? Uh, why do we have to cut that out? The fish Yeah, out. we got to glue it. We have to cut the line? Mm-hmm, cut on the line. Uh. Ta-da! Good job. That's a beautiful fish. Now we need to draw your eyes, mouth, with a marker. Okay, but instead of doing, I got googly eyes, so we're going to do one googly eye for your fish, okay? Okay, which googly eye? Yeah, so you get to pick. 
you get to pick which googly eye. There's big ones and there's little ones. What kind of, only one eye because we only see one side. You want a big eye or you want one little eye? You only get one eye. Which? That one? The big eye. Cool. So you can see more better. Mm-hmm. See where it's going. Yep, yep, yep. I want to be the same one as that. Big one. And he has a big eye? Yep. They do have big eyes, so they can see very well. Mm-hmm. All right, so get your glue. This is where you need to put the eye, okay? okay? This is the tail, and these are the fins. So this is where you're going to put the eye. I'm going to put a dot right there. So put your glue on the dot and put the eye on the glue. Oh, I think it's dry. I think it must have dried up. My oh, there eye. we go. Squeeze. Squeeze. It's so big. There we go. Now put your eye down there. Very good. Now put a smiley face right underneath the eye. So you have a happy fish. That's a smiley. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it says glue fish on the aquarium. Now put a glob of glue right here in the middle of the water there. Right in the middle of the water. Just kind of like squish some glue on there. There. Alright, now put your fish on there. Very gently because the eye is still wet. You want them swimming towards the treasure chest? Mm -hmm. Alright. Now it says glue stones. Whoop, here we go glue stones to the bottom of the aquarium right there but we don't have any stones okay so we're going to instead of stones we're going to do this green and blue glitter because i think those are pretty and this glitter i got from the dollar store you know where they come in like these little packs and i got these little bitty salt and pepper shakers from the container store for a dollar see they were 99 cents so i just put the gl glitter in there and i taped up a couple holes because they would come out too fast. Make some glue on the sand, and we're gonna make the sand glittery, okay? All over the sand. All over the sand? All over the sand, yep. That's good, that's enough. And now use your glitter shakers, very gently, just a little bit of glitter, okay? Don't put a whole bunch. All right, that's good, now, now spread it on out. Spread the love. All right, all right, that's good. Now, now, now for your green. This for my green? Mm-hmm. Not too much, and not so crazy. Keep it there. You don't want to waste it. All right, that's good. Okay. Now we're gonna let it dry over here on the counter, right here, and then we're gonna shake it out. We're gonna shake the extra glitter out. Now we have all this extra glitter we need to clean up. All right, we finished Monday's activity. So whenever we finish Monday's activity, or any day and we have a poster for that day, I hang up the poster right underneath our board and right above our alphabet. And I use these little, um, I forget what they're called. Hangers. No, they're not called, um, they're like sticky clips or something like that. I don't know. I got these from Amazon. I'll leave a link down below, but I got these. They're a choking hazard for sure if you have a toddler, so I would not recommend them. We're gonna stop using these when Hannah starts walking, so. But for right now, they're good to have for our posters. Aren't that nice? Mm -hmm. So we talked about Freddy Fish today. All right. We get to hang it up. So we get to hang it up and talk about it for the rest of the week. Yeah. Now we're going to do our star for Monday. Get a star. So we finished Monday's week 10. Very Yay. good. Yay. Say thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Say please subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, good enough. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing good. And today's video, we're going to talk about how I lay out our school material for the coming week. And I do this every weekend to prepare for the next week. So let's get started. Mm -hmm.